The mayor of Greater Dandenong says it's a sad reality that the region is now without a single bookshop. The last one closed a month ago and local book lovers now either have to travel or shop online. But as Kerry Ritchie found elsewhere, it's not all doom and gloom. 140,000 people live in the city of Greater Dandenong and they don't have one bookshop to browse in. With 156 different nationalities, we'd like as many options as possible for our residents to have uh, literacy available to them. This was Dandenong's last bookshop. The Angus and Robertson closed a month ago. It's being replaced by a hairdressers. We direct people to our, to our community space type libraries. Dandenong isn't Melbourne's only bookshop black hole. More have been appearing since Borders and Angus and Robertson stores were closed by their parent company, Red Group. They were often the only bookshop or a pair of bookshops in a particular community. I think a few people are seeing gaps in the market and it'll hopefully be opening up there. The Australian Booksellers Association is hopeful Dandenong will get a bookshop in coming months. We're starting to hear around the traps that, that uh, rentals are becoming negotiable as some of the larger shopping centres get more and more empty space in their centres. For independent bookshops, times remain very tough. But bookshop owners say they have noticed in the past few months that things have slightly picked up. Six years ago today, Heather Dyer bought her bookshop in Melbourne's northeast. I think a lot of people will experiment with online shopping and e-reading, but there'll always be people who still want to handle a book. Her takings for September were up 15% compared to September last year. She says the fact that closing down sales at Borders and Angus and Robertson have come to an end has helped. Kerry Ritchie, ABC News, Melbourne.